everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. In a previous video, I showed you how to remove the underline for the read more link on your blog. But I had a fellow Squarespacer message me and say, okay, I loved the video, great, it did exactly what I wanted. Um, however, now my read more link kind of gets lost. Um, and you can see that here, it kind of gets lost here, it's, it doesn't stick out. And they're like, can we turn it into a button? So today we're going to be looking at how to turn this into a button or make it look like a button on your site. So all you need to do is go to design, custom CSS, and you'll see I have the code from the previous video to remove the underline. And underneath that, you're just gonna copy and paste the code listed below this video. And you'll see that it's turned my read more link into a button. I've added a button here in my footer temporarily just so that I can compare them as I'm editing so I know it matches the other buttons on my site. So now all we need to do is go through this code to edit it to match the buttons on your site. Um, so this first code here gives a border. You can make that border smaller or bigger here and you can change the color of that border. This next line changes the spacing. So 10 is the top and bottom, 20 is the right and left side. So you can give yourself more or less spacing. This line of code here makes it that pill shape. So if yours is square, you can just delete that line of code right out and it will make it square. Or you can change this number to be smaller if you want it just slightly rounded. So for instance, I can change it to 10 and it will just round the corners slightly. This color here is the background color of the button, and then this is the color of the font. Okay. The last line of code here changes the background to a little bit of a darker color when I hover over top. You'll notice that my button does that here, and so I've repeated that on my buttons here. Click Save, and you're done.